Hi, I'm Iman Rahmati, and today I'm here to talk to you about building a Firebase extension for your service. So let's say you've built this cool service that can generate beautiful invoices in PDF for developers. Your business generates revenue by getting the developers to subscribe and use your API. Your company has made it super easy to use. Developers just go to the company website, sign up for an account, generate an API key, and copy that into their clipboard. Then they take one of the code samples you have for PHP, Java, or Node.js and paste the API key in there. Then they deploy that to production, and bam, they're running. Their code calls to your service, and each time you generate a response, you make a few cents after a generous feed here. But adoption has been much slower than expected. Developers are not finding your great invoice API because you're not on a platform they already use. You don't stand out from the competition. Where can you find these developers to let them know about your product? You can buy search keywords, of course. But how do we reach the right developers? And a few developers that do use your service are asking all these difficult questions. How do they get the response directly from within their Android code? How do they call it from within their backend? Will you have to learn Android to support them? And iOS? And Flutter? Web? You can just tell them it's their problem. And then they'll go write the integration code their own way. And the burden of supporting and troubleshooting that code will be on your support team. Or they'll switch to another invoice API that does support these platforms directly. Maybe you provide code samples for every language and technology, and they copy that code in their app and happily use it. But later, when you update your APIs or publish improvements, it's difficult to find the developers and tell them to update. You just wanted to print cool, stylish invoices, but now you're dealing with all these integration problems. What if there was a way you could ease this integration process for your developers, so they don't run into all these problems while working with your APIs? What if you wrote the standard integration code for them, documented it, and they would just install it with a few clicks? Ooh, lucky yes. With Firebase extensions, we can do exactly that. With extensions, you can get your code running from the closest point to your developer's data, their database, or where their logic is in a cloud function. And you can put it in front of millions of developers to install your extension right away. Let's see how. Don't worry. If you've ever written a Node.js script to call your service, you've done most of the hard work already. Let's say, to simplify your developers' lives, you want to allow them to only write the information needed, like the invoice line items and their prices, to a document in a database. And your extension will take care of everything else and generate the invoice for them. That sounds pretty nice. The first step is to create Node.js code that responds to writes on Cloud Firestore. The code will trigger on the insert and receive the new data. In the Cloud Functions code, we then call out to our backend service to generate the invoice, just passing the values from the caller to the backend service. The backend service results could be cached or saved to cloud storage, an option you can provide to your users. OK, as said, that was the hard part. Now we create a wrapper for these Cloud Functions that allows a user to install it. Here, we define the configuration values our code depends on, like the Firestore collection it needs to respond to, or the API key of your backend service. You can test this extension easily with Firebase Emulator on your local machine. When you feel it's ready for real use, you can sign up to list it on extensions.dev. To sign up, navigate to extensions.dev, sign up as a publisher, enter your information, reserve a unique ID, you're ready to go. Now, you can use the Firebase CLI to upload your extension to the registry. After your extension has been successfully uploaded, you'll get a link to install and test your extension. OK, you've built the extension. I'm going to try it out now. Here, I click the Install link, choose a project to install. Since this extension hasn't been published yet, I do see an additional warning. Then I want to look at the billing information to see what this extension will cost me. Lucky me, there's no charge for installing an extension beyond using the underlying cloud resources and any costs that are incurred by APIs used by the extension, such as the Invoice API. 
I'm reviewing the APIs the extension will access, the roles and permissions it'll use, and then the configuration dialog appears. Here, I will fill in all the parameters you defined in your extension. For example, the Firestore collection it'll listen on, and the API key I obtained from your service, and some other optional configuration if I need to change the defaults. And with the click of a button, the extension will be installed into my project. Hmm, not bad, but let me test the extension. Am I really relieved from reading your docs and writing integration code myself? I configured the invoice extension to monitor documents in this collection. I'll create a document with the line items for the invoice. For each line item, we have a name and a price. I'll add a few here. Now, when I save this new document to Firestore, it triggers the extension, calls the API, which in turn generates a PDF with the invoice, and writes back the URL of that PDF into the same document automatically. This is how cool extensions are. Without me needing to integrate with your API, I have your features available to me in my database and any app platform that runs Firebase. Okay, when you feel confident about your extension, you can submit it for review by our team. After it's reviewed and approved, the extension will show up on extensions.dev. After you're listed, you can view basic stats on your extension, like the number of installs per each version. This will help you understand the adoption of your extension. If you release a new feature or fix a bug, you can publish a new version of your extension. When users come to their extensions page, they'll see an update is available and can upgrade to the latest version. Okay, what are some other advantages of building extensions for your service? Did you know by building an extension for technologies like Firestore, you get all the cool benefits the SDK provides? For example, when your users don't have an internet connection, they can continue using Firestore SDK and your extension in offline mode until the connection is restored. Or, if you move logic into the extension and one client generates more load than your servers can handle, that extra load can be shared with Firebase Developer's cloud project, helping your servers remain stable. Firestore isn't the only technology you can build integrations for. We have many types of triggers, including storage, when files get created or deleted, auth, when users get added or removed, real-time database when data gets added, removed, or updated, and many other technologies, including recently launched cloud events, also known as Event Arc. So, over the past few years, many companies built extensions for their APIs to integrate with Firebase. For example, Algolia, Elastic, TypeSense, and MailySearch are companies that provide indexing and searching content through their APIs. They built their extensions to integrate directly with Firestore and provide full text search for content in Firestore. Stripe, RevenueCat, and Purchasely provide subscription and payment integrations. They built extensions that take care of all the heavy lifting for integration with their endpoints and provide a way to simply use their services through the database. They use the database as an API gateway for their backend services. We already have dozens of extensions available on extensions.dev by top services. But today, in addition to opening up building extensions to everyone, we're announcing a whole round of new extensions that were developed over the past few months for Firebase developers. These are the new companies who worked on providing developers seamless integration with their technologies, and their extensions are all launched as of today. Google products are building quality integrations for Firebase developers. Google Maps, Firestore, and BigQuery teams have launched multiple new extensions to help Firebase and cloud developers use their services. Many individual developers signed up to our alpha program to build useful extensions. And we're happy to announce a number of these extensions are available today, including extensions to help developers generate PDFs from Firestore, generate open graph preview images for links in Firestore, sync document fields in Firestore, ensure a field is unique, or an extension to use Google Sheets as a backend for custom form submissions, and many more extensions you can find on extensions.dev. 
And to help Firebase developers build AI and ML features into their applications, Google is launching multiple extensions with hope that many would follow soon. These extensions use Palm API, Vertex AI, and other Google Cloud's AI technologies, including the recent announcements to leverage those benefits in an easy-to-use way. You can also build ML extensions yourself. Oh, by the way, did I tell you that we've launched Python support for extensions in our alpha program? So you can reach millions of developers by having your product join our existing extensions library. Go to extensions.dev to sign up and register as a publisher. While you wait for approval, take the code lab and read our documentation to understand how to build extensions. Build your extension, upload, and submit it to be reviewed and listed on extensions.dev. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of IO.